This is the eighth video in our series looking at how we set up and configure a Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. When we created our wireless mesh network, we created something called a Wi-Fi backhaul. A Wi-Fi backhaul is basically the backbone to any mesh network in that it is used to link the wireless points in our network to each other. So not only will our Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network create a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless signal, it will also create a secondary wireless signal for our wireless backhaul to use. However, if a Wi-Fi point does not have a strong wireless backhaul signal, a device wirelessly connected to that Wi-Fi point may experience slow speeds connecting to either our network or the internet. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a test that we can run to check the status of the wireless backhaul being used by our Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. First, we need to open the Google Home app. As you can see, the devices that make up our Google Nest Wi-Fi network are displayed within the app. In order to test our mesh connections, we need to locate and select one of our Google Nest Wi-Fi points. When the Wi-Fi point panel opens, at the bottom of the panel we have an option to run mesh test. Let's select this option. As you can see, the connection between our Wi-Fi points are now tested. When the mesh test has been completed, we're presented with the status report for our mesh network. This report will display one of three states. The first state is great which signifies that we have a backhaul speed of more than 100 megabits per second. The second state, which is OK, signifies that we have a backhaul speed of between 50 and 100 megabits per second. The final state, which is weak, signifies that our backhaul speed is less than 50 megabits per second. So if we have a Wi-Fi point that is reporting its connection status as weak, we will need to take some action. However, due to the way that Google Nest Wi-Fi has been designed, the actions that we can take to improve a backhaul signal is very limited. According to Google, if we have a Wi-Fi point with a weak connection, we simply need to move the Wi-Fi point closer to our other Wi-Fi points or the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. Google also suggests that we place our wireless points no more than two rooms apart and we do not have objects such as thick walls or furniture blocking the signal to our Wi-Fi points. So to summarize, in this video, we looked at how you run a mesh test on a Google Nest wireless network. We then discussed what the results of the test would indicate and what Google recommends you do to fix a Wi-Fi point with a rating of weak. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at how we restart our Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network.